Yeah, there you go. You did a good job. You did, you did. What are you doing? What? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hit, hit the music. System my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co-host Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And before we get started with this thing, as y'all know, if y'all want to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, make sure you drop a subscribe right there, hit a, hit the bell icon, drop a like on any of the content that you enjoy, and make sure to hit us with a comment because we do like to hear from you, our kaiju faithful Brahms, the boy too. Brahms the boy. Two. Brahms, the boy. This movie sucks. This movie absolutely sucks. I, like this is this is not going to be a, a review where we belabor the point. There's nothing that happens in this movie at all for ninety five percent of the movie. Nothing happens. You hit. You get chances for jump scares that are telegraphed. Everybody in this movie is basically a horror movie written character. And what I mean by that is they only make actions that would make sense if they knew they were in a horror movie. That happens way too often. Like the boy in the very beginning hides from his mother, but makes sure to hide in plain sight for you to, for you to see He's under the stairs and waiting, standing like this. No boy stands just like this when nobody's watching. Just like this. Nothing. Everything, every action that they've made is just to move the story along. And, and I know that may sound weird because, of course, actions that they make to move the story along. But if it feels so artificially done. This is a shitty movie. Like, there's only been, in recent memory, two movies that I can remember that I actually regret ever seeing. The first was Playmobil because we never actually got to got to review it. And that's the only reason why I didn't like that. Uh, I regretted that movie because it didn't turn into work. That's the only reason why. This movie, I regret just ever setting foot in, especially towards the end. Are, are you, are you going to be silent this whole time? Yep. My mommy told me if I have nothing nice to say, don't say it at uh, I mean, we got to riff off each other, though. I can't be the only one talking about this crap. I movie. think you pretty much covered everything because nothing fucking happened. Nothing happens in the movie. Now, this is a continuation of Brahms, the boy. And please don't make another guy. Please don't. One. Please don't. Now, Brahms, the boy was, I guess you'd say niche. A niche movie. It made back its money. It made it made it made a little a nice little profit. I don't know if it was ever going to be good enough to make this sequel. But hey, somebody out there wants this sequel. And if you're out there and you want some kind of Brahms connected universe, please stop. Are you high? Are you on drugs? Are you just like, stop? What the fuck is going on in your life? Regardless, that just stop. you want to punish us with this bullshit. Now, usually doll movies hit, <laughs> hit us in the heart because, like you know, we. Remember our grandmother's house where she had a lot of dolls and they used to scare the crap creepy out of us. Creepy dolls. A lot, of, a lot of nice and creepy dolls. See, now that's a good parallel that you just made. Annabelle. Annabelle. A Annabelle. doll. Even though like- Scares some, the living shit out of you. I mean, like Annabelle actually does stuff. And I, I will have to say this, that um, a lot of people may not have liked the previous Annabelle. Annabelle comes home. Uh, you know, despite the fact that she's the doll taking care of, uh, the doll taking out control of the whole thing. Yeah. But like, at least something happened there. It may have been cliche and schmaltzy and and whatever you want to call it, but something happened. 
something grew That's out of point. this thing. Like, exactly. yeah, nothing happens in this movie. Everything is nothing. relegated to dreamscapes and and jump scares and like, oh, you, you were dreaming. Lost. How are you dreaming and you're sitting, standing still yeah. in the freaking hall? Was like, oh, you were. There dreaming. was no good transitions. Oh, God. so we didn't know when because Katie Holmes starred in it, so we didn't know when. Katie Holmes was having a dream or if she was back in her reality. There was no new, no transition to that. It just went right it dream, was, right back. It dream was back. so jarring because yes. none, of it, none of it really made any sense. It did not. And then the doll. Oh, fuck this doll. Fuck this doll. Okay. This We're going to break this shit down. Okay, you're going to break really it down. Really quick. I'm going to let you break it down. Because this irritates me. Because now you're talking. Absolute now you're talking. shit out of me. I'm cool with you talking. Go ahead. Keep talking. Keep going. Let it go. Let it go. Let the bullet fly. Ah, let it fly. Anyways, this little piece of shit Damn. comes into the house mm-hmm. and then decides to make rules. And it ain't paying no bills. Bitch, what bills do you pay? Ain't paying no bills. So this is it what I pay. have to say. Not a bill. Not one. Now this is what I have to say. You gonna bring your little doll ass into my house? Mm. Mortgage is due on the first Car note due on the 15th, mm. phone bill due on the 15th, mm. and your ass can get the groceries. And you can do some goddamn chores. You feeling something But about- you're not gonna bring your little doll ass in my house and make fucking rules, and you're a goddamn doll. Are you crazy? You really, you really felt that? Yes! You really feeling this part of the Jesus video? Jesus Christ! Damn! You, you, you decided to let all them bars I fly. I had to, because that was burning me. You dropped 16 bars on the damn dog. That was burning me. Okay. Um, the, the movie in and of itself is stupid. And I say stupid generously. There is literally yes. a, a scene where she's trying to research the doll. She, she checks it out, checks out the number, doesn't find anything, throws because a little letter away. she did it backwards. That... No, no. This is how dumb it is. Reach. I, I don't give a fuck if, if this is a spoiler. It's really not, but whatever. Reaches into the waste bin. Uncrumples a paper. Maybe it was upside down. That's that's your big, big oh, moment? Yep. The paper was upside down. That was the aha moment. And then the ending insults your fucking intelligence. Oh yeah, we're it dumbasses. Insult your we are complete dumbasses in this intelligence. movie. Intelligence. This movie is a wasted opportunity because they they have the premise isn't bad. The no, premise it's isn't not. bad. They could have really turned this into something great. This been even some if, shit. even if it was a sequel, uh, and you know they basically papered over the previous movie. Even if, even if it was a sequel that did that, it still could have been amazing. And in the final. The final climax, right in the climax, they do something that really will piss you off because for a good 98% of the movie, it is boring. It is sad. It it, it puts you right the fuck to sleep. As you and said, then, jarring. And then in the very end, it is so jarring how they decide to go, oh, hey, by the way, this is what the doll can actually do. But at that point, you really can You were already shits. checked out. Yeah, you can give two shits. You're just like, You were waiting oh. for the movie to end. It's, it's only, it's barely, it's not even 90 minutes long. It, it's six minutes long. Yeah. So, like, you're already waiting for the movie to end, and then it throws this at you, and how are you not pissed? Like, how would you not be pissed at this movie at this at that point yeah, in time? Pretty livid. Pretty livid. There's there's nothing there's nothing more to say about because there's nothing no. good to say about this movie. No. Like you usually usually you say oh they played their role they they did their parts they did no. a pretty good job. No, fuck I this movie. gave absolutely, absolutely fuck this movie. two dick holes about any of the characters. Two dick holes. Yep. Who? What is that a saying? I it is today. Go ahead and give us a score. Negative five stars. Minus five fucking stars. Fuck this movie. It is not fun. It is not good. It is there is no real redeemable quality about this movie. Everything about this movie is either telegraphed or it's so slow and plotting that you'll want to keep checking your watch every five minutes, going like, when is it when is something either gonna happen or when is it gonna end? And none of that comes at the point that it should be happening. Now that it comes to the point, there's there's a twist that's not even a fucking twist in this movie. Not really. There's a twist that's not a twist. And this is dumb. This movie is just straight up dumb. 
just just talk us out. <sighs> anyway, if you like what we do, if you like the reviews that we do, if you if you if you agree with us, don't agree with us, if you've seen Brahms and you are one of those 12 people out there, the dozens of you out there who are like, you know what, I was really clamoring for a Brahms a boy too sequel and you guys did not treat it well I, i'm gonna have to talk to your manager well first of all get your manager haircut going ready and then come talk to us about it let us know how bad we did on this review let us know that we 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 we, we missed a point somewhere down the line because we checked the fuck out the movie was bad absolutely bad but you on the other hand you're watching this you're awesome so we'll catch y'all later deuces bye